Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. I think a lot of us are ready for autumn, and this is a preview, certainly the most refreshing air we've had so far this season, but it's going to be warming up again, but it'll be that drier September heat that we often get. You get temperatures upper 80s to around 90, a little humidity, but not nearly as high as what we normally sweat through during the summertime, and it will finally be dry. We've got a seven-day stretch, at least seven days, without any rain chances, and that's a nice change of pace. Highs today were generally in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. Average highs this time of the year are in the low to mid 80s. So uh, we're a little bit below normal today. We're going to be pretty much in the same ballpark tomorrow. And then that slow warm up begins to get underway. Now, last night we were 53 degrees. Tonight, probably not quite that cool. And you can see on live first warning Doppler, these are just false returns around the radar. We had a few spotty light showers in our northern counties earlier today. But of course, over the weekend, again, we were dodging scattered showers and thunder showers. But not as heavy as the previous two weekends, which featured torrential downpours. And a lot of the significant rain was along and north of the river and in our southeastern counties. The bullseye for the heaviest rain over the weekend was in southern Perry County, where our system estimated about two inches of rain there between Gatchel and Derby to the northeast of Tell City. Our run, running one week total of an inch or more of rain, not showing too much green anymore. So it's back to watering for a good deal of the area, though we're kind of at the tail end of the growing season here. But you still have, you know, your lawns and gardens that need some water. Continue to do that. A few locations in our eastern and northern counties have had about an inch of rain over the past week, but these shades of green will be quickly uh, going away here over the next uh, week. Live view of how, or not a live view, this is how the day played out from our Superior Ag Tower camera. The time lapse out of downtown Evansville. Lots of sun this morning, and then we have, we're kind of on the southern edge of these scattered clouds that came in uh, this afternoon that are still out there uh, this evening, but they will be clearing out overnight. The temperature right now is down to 66. The dew point's up a bit at 53, but it was in the 40s all day, and it's calm. And when you're clear and calm, wide range in temperatures. 57 in Greenville to 66 in Owensboro and Evansville. 65 Santa Claus, 59 in Fairfield. So in general, we'll drop into the mid-50s as we head through the overnight hours. So some scattered clouds along the north of the river. It's a big upper level low pushing through the Great Lakes that will lift to the northeast and take these clouds with it, but also kind of reinforce the cooler air that's that's here right now for one more day. So Future Tracker shows that clearing trend back to mostly sunny skies tomorrow. Highs much like today. I think much of the area upper 70s to around 80. And then tomorrow night we're back into the upper 50s and then mostly sunny skies Wednesday. Slow warm up into the low 80s Wednesday afternoon. On Thursday we continue with mostly sunny skies and highs in the mid 80s, but still pleasantly low humidity for one more day. Overnight, partly cloudy, more clouds up to the north, mid 50s, and mostly sunny skies tomorrow. Another pleasant high, generally upper 70s to near 80, maybe 73 up in the northeast corner of the tri-state. Seven-day forecast, 84 degrees Wednesday, 86 Thursday, 88 Friday through the weekend, and the humidity will be a little higher, but just in that noticeable but still tolerable range. And then we're pushing 90 degrees early next week, but no chances of rain for the next seven days. Days, and it may stay dry well into next week. So really nice and eventually somewhat warm uh, but dry September weather. All right. Certainly take yeah, that. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, Wayne.